They are hardworking, well-trained and incredibly disciplined professionals. And yet, guide dogs for the blind rarely get the recognition they deserve in Malaysia. That's something the Dogs for Sight campaign hopes to change, especially through its photo book, A Guided Tour, Our Lives with Guide Dogs, launched on Friday. The book tells the story of a few visually impaired individuals and how guide dogs changed their lives. Stevens Chan, who lost his sight in 2007 due to glaucoma, spearheaded the project. The owners talk about their dogs is as if like they are like their spouse, which is very interesting because we I've never seen it that way. That kind of bonding that's so close that you actually trust the dog more than the people around you, and I thought that was very beautiful. Tan Sri Li Lam Tai, patron of SBA Slango, implores Malaysians to be more accepting of guide dogs during the book launch. Guide dogs is something that uh, is very common. We always see these guide dogs in uh, many Western uh, countries. For example, if you have been to many countries in Europe, you'll be able to see how the guide dogs will lead the blind, will guide the blind, and especially in performing certain very important duties like crossing the road, and so on and so forth. But of course, here in Malaysia, it's something not uh, very, very common. It's something that you don't see. And of course, as Stevens has said, one of the problems that we have is this, that uh, we have yet to get government recognition, government recognition of the important role of guide dogs to help the blind in our country. Lashon was allowed into the KL Cowenton Centre for the book launch and he was a huge hit with the packed crowd. SPA Silango Chief Operations Officer Lorna Fisher, who has trained dogs in Britain and Australia, says guide dogs have to be trained for around three years before they can be put to work. Fisher adds that guide dogs are more accepted in the Middle East compared to Malaysia.